Welcome back to my channel. I am still live. Today I'm joined with Gal Pal. And we're gonna talk about the first time we met. I know that uh, this is not a usual setup, but that is because I have now moved house. I've moved in with my best friend. <laughs> and me. We live together with our mutual best friend. Oh, by the way, we are wearing my merch, which you can get at shop.lorenelouise.com. Mm -hmm. I might do a little secret coupon code for you guys who watch all the way to the end mm -hmm. so you can get some dollars off. Celebrate your gal oh pal God. this Valentine's Day. <laughs> Wink. Getting merch is the best way to support me, mm -hmm. to keep doing what I do. So the first part is... The chapter, let's call it a chapter. The Chapters. first chapter. This is the story of us. Oh God. <laughs> chapter one. Bef before, Before, Before we, met. we met. There was a lot of times in both our lives that we could have crossed paths and mm. we didn't. We kind of grew up in the same community. We have this mutual friend who we now live with. I've been friends with this friend for like 10 years. 20. Two years? <laughs> it's showing your age. I'm so old, guys. I have no <laughs> idea. So yeah, I think we definitely could have met at some point. In fact, we probably did meet at various parties and just not. I think only one party we would have Maybe, seen yeah. each other, but well, I don't remember. Neither. Sorry. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, I moved out from my family home with our friend Maddie, then it was like pandemic <laughs> immediately. Yeah. And so we were living together for like a few months before we could have a proper like housewarming. Could do nothing. Yeah, basically. you could do nothing. <laughs> and then they started introducing like number of people you could invite over and it was like five or something. And Maddie was like, great, I have I'm five inviting five, okay. five people over. <laughs> so she asked me and I was like, yeah, yeah, I have a friend over. I was actually, I'm um, ignoring about whether I was gonna go. I was like, oh, maybe I'll go and see like my friends that night or I'll just stay in my room. Like I don't want to get in the way. Wait, you're forgetting something. What am I forgetting? When you first originally moved into that house yes i actually helped with Maddie some moved. moving stuff but i wasn't there you the day you no. helped but what did you wear i intentionally wore a flannel mm -hmm. because you, you you knew i knew of you you knew that i was gay yeah. and i did not know that you were gay anyway that also happened <laughs> i wore a flannel she was not there i was like oh damn at least whatever. you tried Good <laughs> i don't know who this girl is <laughs> but then fast forward to when we had the housewarming i was like almost not gonna go i was like and eh, i've got a dress on put effort in and i could just stay in my trackies and like watch tv on my laptop <laughs> <laughs> but anyway man was like no come like you're invited like come and hang out what did you wear I wore some like black flary pants and my red blazer. Red jacket. And my red lipstick. Oh god. Unknowing that all of these things were Lauren's favorite. <laughs> um, we had like an upstairs downstairs house and I think I came upstairs like fashionably late like two minutes after you'd all arrived because I was still getting ready and I came up the stairs and saw everybody and said hi said hello and I don't really remember saying hi to you yeah to I remember <laughs> you standing on like the other side of the kitchen bench oh, amongst, every that. amongst everybody else but I remember specifically like seeing you and being like hmm she's wearing corduroy green pants and docks. very fancy black docks <laughs> and I think maybe you had a carabiner clipped onto your pants. All these things, and I was like, my little like gaydar was like, ding, question mark. <laughs> Wasn't quite sure. To follow up later. Yeah, to, con <laughs> to be confirmed. Chapter two. Chapter two time. Yes. <laughs> the day that we met, or the night that we met. We all sat at a table mm -hmm. and we were playing Shrek You Know, because that is what you own. So superior you know, what can I say? Reason. We also played Cards Against Humanity. You like bumped me a few times, like really, really lightly, like was like, oh. Sorry, like, and I'm like, bro, like, that you barely even touched me. Why are you apologizing? I don't care. I was just being nice. Yeah, you were. Consent is consent. Yeah. You were trying to judge the room with one of the Cards Against Humanity questions, mm -hmm. and you actually asked me about it. I was like, oh, <laughs> she's asking me. That's cute. You were next to me. But also, we sat together. Did we yeah, later, we were we sitting did, next did, to did, each did, other. Was that later, did we later learn that that was, like, planned by Maddie? I don't think she so. She tried to arrange. I don't think so. I think she did. Did she? 
I think I she think, did. Yeah, she might have mentioned that one. She too. later on was like, it wasn't <laughs> accidental. Sneaky. At this point, I knew you were gay. We I were kind of little, like. little vibing. I was yeah. really trying not to flirt with you because like, I have no idea what your life is. I'm surrounded by my three friends looking straight at me. One of them is, you know, yeah, I don't know if I should say this. One of them is my ex. Who is my friend? But like, that's so lesbian of you, just to say. <laughs> I know, I know. Anyway, <laughs> but it's just, it w I, I want to be honest. Like, it was like so awkward. Like, I didn't know what I could do. I really tried really hard not to look at you the entire night. I feel like I don't remember that because that was part of my complication. Because I first see you and I'm like, hmm, maybe gay. <laughs> and then sort of like trying to figure it out through the night. We're drinking, we're playing games. Let's be real, I probably was like flirting with you, but you were actively trying not to flirt with me slash not wasn't like at I me. wasn't. No, I know. I but, was just but trying I'm, to keep it really So low. I'm getting like all this sort of mix like she's enjoying and reciprocating, but not reciprocating. And I don't, not looking at me. And I, <laughs> I, don't don't know. Know. I um, also was playing my gay cards against humanity cards yes. to make it obvious like I was gay. But there weren't that many because otherwise I would have been like, yeah. It really, the whole night I was like, <laughs> Like, I don't know, is she, isn't she, are we vibing, are we not, I have no idea. And it wasn't until oh. chapter three. The look? Chapter three is the look. Right at the end of the night when everybody was leaving. I think I hugged everybody, so I'm sure we must have done. We like did not three. hug. Did we I not? know we did not hug. Oh, because maybe I didn't hug anybody. I'm not like a really super affectionate person. True. So we were leaving and it was awkward and it was like, I don't know you, so we're not going to hug. And it's also a pandemic. So we kind of just, or maybe that's we kind of just walked I'm across usually a hugger. But anyway, I remember being inside standing next to like the kitchen bench. You were out the door, in the door frame. And I was like, bye. And then you're over there and I was over here. And you just like looked at me. Yeah, like with I this looked, looked at me and I went, oh, yes, yeah, she gay. <laughs> In my head it was like, okay, now I have I finally have a chance to look. No one's really concentrating on me. And I just really I don't know, I just that's just what I did. I didn't think about it too much, but yeah. like I looked and I and happened I to be looking tried. I happened to be looking back. I just looked for a little bit longer than you would usually look at someone. Mm-hmm. But it was uh <laughs> Yeah. Fireworks, yes! <laughs> it was very crazy. On my way home, I was in the car with my two other friends who had driven me and I was in the back seat. Like I opened, the baby that you are. I opened my Instagram. I had this message from you. Wow, did I do it that quickly? Yeah, you, <laughs> you had clapped to react to my Shrek, you know, story. And I was like, oh. She oh, found shit. me. She found me on the gram. She, she stalked me. She yeah. went looking for my name. Mm. Now she can clearly know that I am gay. Because yeah, that was also. Everywhere. If there was any still lingering doubt by the time I found the Instagram, I was like, yeah. She's definitely gay. She's a big fat lesbian. And then did you stalk my page? Yeah, probably. A little bit. <laughs> Scrolling back through, finding stuff. It's cute. You're oh, cute. God. And I was probably like mildly intimidated because I was like, oh my God. She's like, she's got a cool Instagram. And like, over a thousand followers. Oh, I don't know how many you had at the time, it but it was really much more than me. And know. then like nice photos and you doing stuff and you were so cool. <laughs> and now I know the truth, which is that you're just a big dork. Oh, but so are you. Yeah, <laughs> that's why it's okay. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Then for the next, I think two weeks, we were messaging pretty much every day back and forth mm -hmm. to the point where we started voice messaging. Yes, on Instagram. Like low key flirting through the voice messages because you can get a lot more emotion across, mm -hmm. which I really liked. And then I was also doing a bit of writing. I used oh to God, yeah. write, I used to write poems. One was like this new exciting thing. So I was writing about her, <laughs> but I didn't say that it was about her obviously, but I think she put two and two together yeah i was and like i wrote a little is it me i wrote yeah. a little poem a couple of poems I wrote, me. I wrote one before we then saw each other for the first outing after we've been time, yeah lonely kind of time with maddie yeah <laughs> we'll get we'll get that anyway in the poem what did your poem say i don't remember man it was so long ago pause and we'll get this okay i've got to get it Okay guys, while Lauren's gone, I just want to reiterate that you should definitely buy merch because it's really cute, really comfortable, and she works so, 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 so hard. And buying merch is one of the easiest and best and funnest ways that you can support creators on YouTube such as Lauren. So like, get on it. Buy your gal pal or guy pal or whoever pal a cute little shirt. See. Oh, <laughs> she back. <laughs> okay. So I found I found the poem. The first poem is called Beginnings and it just says she makes me want to write again. 
And I was like, is that me? It's so gay, but man. It had, had to be. <laughs> I was so excited. I have it screenshotted because... And I didn't like it either because I was like, I don't want it. Oh, I don't want you to know. Like, but... You better have liked it now. Probably. I hope so. And then anyway, we were talking. You wrote another poem, which I'll let you read because it's your own writing. Oh, okay. It's called Paper Planes. And it says... Gosh, I haven't seen this in ages. We speak in paper planes tossed across the room, the world, in tender, tentative hands. We are remembering how to be children, how to live and throw with abandon, how to love and thrive with. The aerodynamics are shaky at best, the folded edges rough and rushed and ready. Are we ready? I wait for planes to land in these hands like they are coming home. No, no crying time. Anyway, oh. <laughs> oh, it's really nice to hear you actually say it because I've said that I've read that so many times in my head. It's just, it's cute. Shut up. It's cute. Shut up. Stop being gay. Fuck. Turn it off. Oh. All right. Anyway, I read that and so we... I'm just being gay for like two more minutes. Oh, okay. The next chapter is called the first outing. Yes. Housemate Maddie was going out with you and maybe some, and some, some of your other friends, friends and then they all pulled they out except for Lauren and then Maddie was like, Erin, oh, you should come. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I was like, oh. And I think I had to like work the next day and we were going out later that <laughs> night and they wanted to drink and I was like, oh my God. Anyway, I went. Before mm. I went out, I actually called Maddie on the phone. I basically, I didn't say this, but I was asking for permission. I was like, is this okay? If, like, like ask my dad to marry me. Can, can I go out with your friend? <laughs> like, and this is me being really honest again because me and Maddie have like the same friendship group mm. and I had dated who is our friend before and then, you know, we broke up and then I'm coming like to ask if I can date another, another one. Another friend. friend. Part enough. of me, my subconscious was like, oh, I don't know if this is allowed. I just had to. It's kind of cute. And she was like, yeah. Like, then we went out. You went out. And, and I wore red again, but a different jacket. All my red bomber jacket. Yeah. You know? And warm. yes. And you like mm. held my arm or something. Because like, you were cold. Yeah, I was freaking. So this I, is middle of winter. So I, I went like freezing. this. We had some drinks. We had some dessert. And then we and went back. And you made me touch how thick your hair was. It is. I remember that. It is very thick. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. Stop it. We're doing work. Okay. Right. Jesus. All right. Anyway. Okay, I don't know why you came back to the house with us. Oh, because Maddie said, like, Lauren, like, you can sleep over if you want. You can sleep in my bed or Erin's bed. And I'm like, holy shit, like, that's way, that's way too soon to even, <laughs> like, I don't really know you. So I had decided that I wasn't going to stay at all. But when I did go downstairs to go to the bathroom. Yes, she's sneaky. He's like, uh, I have to go to the bathroom. BLB runs down the stairs. <laughs> Didn't think much of it at the time, but then you, I said, did you, then you the came back up. You came up, back up rather quickly for did someone I? who was supposed to be going to the bathroom. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember being like, did she say she was going to the bathroom? Did she just run off the stairs? Yeah. I run and everywhere. And then you came back and you left. And then I don't know how much longer maybe I was upstairs chatting with Maddie or whatever about it all. But then when I went downstairs, <laughs> when I went into my room, this was lying on the floor. <laughs> um, having been thrown in the doorway by yeah. you when you ran downstairs. And it is a paper plane. A paper plane, like the title of my poem. When you do like voice messages on Instagram, it comes up with like the sound waves and she's got that on it. And then it has a little message inside it. And it says, you know, read this? Okay. You wrote this one. Just clicked in my head when I was reading your poem. I was like, I'm going to write her a paper plate. On the inside, I wrote, quoting your own poem in brackets, are we ready? I don't know, but I want to find out. I want to know you. Kiss. <laughs> also super gay. And that kind of is where things started. Yeah, I remember you reading. You sent a photo back to me, I think, of that. I did, on Instagram. You were, like, so excited about I it. I was. It was... I not even have it. It was so cute and so, like, my entire insides were just erupting. <laughs> Heart was like all warm and squishy. I got the screenshot of what you said. Oh, okay, here we You're go. like, I can't even describe how I felt seeing this, picking it up, waiting to read it till I got into bed, realizing the pink lines are the voice recordings, opening it up so carefully because I wanted to be able to refold it. The little fireworks in my chest reading your words, God, I want to know you too. And I just repeated that last line in my head so many times. We are so gay. <laughs> so yeah. that's, that's how we met. And this spawned... Uh, well, this. <laughs> yeah. This is a box. This, this is, is also a box. Full of 
planes. Full of planes in all different kinds of paper from all different places and all different times. And this is the first date plane. Oh yeah, it has a little tail message. Will you go on a date with me? <laughs> and now you know, there's a few of you who I've mentioned before, like about What's the paper, paper plane. planes. Yeah. Now you know what it is. It's us being as gay as we can possibly be. I know. That's why there's so many, because mm. every time I would go to yours, I would leave one. Every time you came to mine, you would leave one mm -hmm. in like a different place. Like we would We'd hide, hide them. it, so you'd have to find it. And you were always much better at finding them than me. <laughs> I'd forever be messaging you being like, Hell, did you leave something? Somewhere. And if so, where? Because I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> and that is how we met. met. Just invite strangers into your house. Don't have to leave the house. Just stay there. <laughs> like I did. And they will arrive. They will just appear. Magically. In Greek called Rapain Sendox. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Have a lovely Valentine's Day, everybody. Yes, happy Valentine's Gay. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe down below if you want more gay shit. Mm -hmm. I'm always happy to provide as long as Girl Pal is happy with it. We can give so much gay shit. Yes, like this. Bye! Bye. Wait, go and watch our last video that we did, which oh, was yeah. rating lesbian kisses. We uh, may have put a little Easter egg at the end of that video. Yeah, it might be the top rated kiss of all time. It also blew up that video. It's insane. So thank you for watching that if you did. Love you. Okay, bye. Bye.